This is a shot deck, you could just call it a poster to be honest. With every shot from There Will Be Blood. 677 shots to be precise. I made a video about the creation process, in which I said that I would be using my monogram creative console to export 5 frames at a time. And that's the way I did it for a few films. But then I got a little bit frustrated. When you're exporting 2000 frames, and you have the macro that exports five frames at a time, you have to press that button uh, 400 times. And each time you press it, it actually takes a few seconds for you know the macro to run. So that's not efficient, not anymore. So I thought, okay, it's time. I have to learn how the hotkey scripting world. I wrote this code in which I can specify how many frames I want to export with a single hit of a button. The first time I run the command, you know, I'll just show you how it works for 677 frames of There Will Be Blood. It's crazy fast, much faster than I've been doing it earlier. And you know, I can customize it very quickly as well. I can change the number of iterations and it takes a few seconds. If you want to get familiar with it, I will link the video that will be very helpful. It was to me at least. And actually I'm gonna do a video training for people in the editing chef. So that's the second option to get familiar with that piece of software. I had a lot of fun doing these shot decks. For example, this is another one for Parasite. And here is the one for Corpus Christi, a film directed by Jan Komasa. Uh, nominated to Oscars actually alongside Parasite. By the way, if you're not following Cut Reveal podcast yet, you should. In episode 15, we interview Vashi Nedomanski. Let me actually play you a few excerpts of the interview I did with Vashi while showing you some of the shot decks I created last month. As an editor, I like to break things up like and see what's going on on the innards, right? Mm -hmm. So a feature mm -hmm. film, you're like, yeah, it's an hour and a half. You ask someone how many average shots, number of shots, they don't know. It's around 1400, you know, across all genres. If you just say a feature, two hour feature film, you know, has 100, 1,400 shots. That's a good average. Some have more, some have less. Annie Hall won the best picture with 349 individual shots. Oh. The reason I did this was why is Annie Hall so good as a movie and it only had 349 shots? How can it win the Oscar yeah. for best film? What does that mean? It means the shots are really long. It means their shots are like, I think it averaged like 25 seconds a shot. So when I make a Vashi frame, the first thing I can look at is the colors, the pacing, the shot size, the costumes, whatever. Then I could see the pacing of the film, how many shots versus how long it is. And I've been calculating average shot length, again, just for myself to be like, why do I like this movie? Paul Thomas Anderson averaged 17 seconds, yeah, you know, yeah. a shot. Yeah. Spielberg is like eight seconds a shot across his yeah. whole career. There's times for fast cutting, there's times for letting the shot play out. And those are all decisions of the editors. So by reverse engineering these films, making the Vashi frame, it gives me a helpful tool to answer some of those questions for myself and see what registers and what connects with me. And then are there factors that I can reverse engineer to understand why it works and why that movie sits well with me? I believe in like osmosis when you're dealing with your creativity and, and yeah. all the things that you input into yourself and it gets stored in your brain and you can pull it out. I'm trying to do my part to just shine a light on film editing and the storytelling craft and show people behind the scenes of what it's really like to be an editor. I love that you've been doing this. I love that you're helping shine a light on this because there's yeah. not too many editing podcasts and some of them are, I don't care for or whatever. I think it's all about the person. I think you're doing a great job in terms of who you're picking and, and the subject that we're talking about. And again, the fact that you are an editor makes a huge difference. You're not looking for a story. You're just trying to share experiences and that's one of yeah. the most important things because we're all yeah. we're all in it together 